Hello, today we are doing a challenge, but not a Retro Tech 100 challenge. We're doing an In In Games challenge. Yes, In In Games, the publishers of various great games for the PlayStation, the Switch, um, all kinds of current systems. Um, they've released some great games in the past, uh, most notably things like Bubble Bobbles. Um, and now they are releasing the Raystorm X Ray Crisis HD Collection. It's available now on digital platforms uh, and it's also coming soon physically to the PS4 and the Switch. Um, and basically to celebrate this release, in, in Games have announced that content creators that hit certain criteria can be eligible to enter a competition. Now the competition is fairly straightforward. For every level you complete in one credit of either game, of both games, uh, basically gives you one entry into a raffle. Now, the lucky raffle winner will receive a thousand euros. So that's good. That's good. That's very good for the wallet. So um, I'm eligible. And as I was one of the first people to express interest in the competition, in in games provided me a key for the game for the Nintendo Switch, which is what I'm going to be playing on today. Now, spoiler alert, I'm not very good at this game, so I don't know how far I'm going to get. These games are pretty tricky, especially Ray Crisis, where you only get one life. Um, these games are tough. They're short and they're tough. They really rely on you to memorize bullet patterns, memorize enemy patterns. I had to just be damn good at shmups, and I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm a, I'm a casual shmup, shmup player, um, and I'm not too familiar with these games in the series, although I've really enjoyed them. Um, but I'm not that great. I've had a little bit of practice, but I don't think I'm going to get past the second level. In practice runs, I've been lucky to get to level three, but we'll see how it goes. Here we go. So the first thing you'll notice is it's not fully overhead visuals, it's kind of at a slanted angle. Which gives it gives the game quite a unique look. Mixed with its low poly aesthetics, or as I said before, poly aesthetics at the time. Um, it really stood out amongst the crowd, you know? Now I've chosen auto shots for this run, because score isn't a factor in the prize winning uh, for the raffle so um, if I wanted to go for score I would go for manual shots uh, but auto shots allow me to automatically fire my rays out at enemies that I target rather than me having to manually press the button it also enables me to just hit both the shoot button and the bomb button at once to unleash my special attack again a bit more survivability not much survivability, because this game is rock solid, but a bit more. Okay, here we are, we're approaching the boss. This can always be a bit hit or miss, with the emphasis on him hitting or missing me, not the other way around. Okay, you got to watch those laser walls. Watch out for the missiles, watch out for everything and hold on to your high knees. Right, here we go. Now the great thing is, not, not that that's not the great thing of course, dying's never good, but um, you can actually shoot and nullify blue bullets, you cannot shoot and nullify orange bullets so that's something to bear in mind if you see a blue bullet you can probably negate it by just firing at it if you see an orange bullet run like hell ok there's the boss down now one of the reasons that makes this game so hard is the fact that your bombs, your special attacks, don't wipe out enemy bullets. They're still there. And you also have to watch out for collisions in the 3D environment. Uh, those two put together make this game very tricky indeed. It may not look it at first, but it ramps up. It really does. And I'm hoping to show you more of the levels as well, because the levels are really well designed. They're really nice to look at, too. But, I'm not sure. We will see how far we get. Now, this is a bit tense. I'm 
not going to lie. I am firmly clenched at this point. Ah, and there we go, that's it. That's the end of game one, that is the end of Ray Storm. I'd say we're about halfway, three quarters of the way through level two, stage two. And that is the end of my run, so that's only two entries into the competition so far. Let's see if we do any better on the other game, on Ray Crisis. So we'll drop to the menu. And we'll head on over to Ray Crisis. And we'll play it in the HD because why not? And again, these are all default settings. The only thing I've changed is adding free play for practice. I'm going to enter my name. Now, you enter your name at the beginning of the game in Ray Crisis because it's like a password system in a way. You notice that I've played this game before today, so my previous map layout can be saved and I can replay that layout, um, which is really good if you're practicing certain runs, uh, because each level is randomized. The, the, the Each world is randomized, should I say, so, so certain segments come at you in different orders. Now you can see in the corner of the screen there, you've got area info. I've got variation number 38, this time around so that is one thing that's different between Ray Storm and Ray Crisis there are several differences um, one of them being there is no auto fire mode you have to pick manual mode for your guns so I am in charge of each ray um, in, this, in this game also when I get close to the bottom of the screen, I have to manually adjust my reticle. It, it changes shape. But the biggest change is the fact that this is even harder because you only get one life. One life. That's it. So one stray bullet, you're a goner. Which is it's quite brutal. In difficulty. You see how close that was. Okay, I'm setting off my bomb. Oh, I've got a couple of achievements for that. Nice. Yes, there are achievements for the uh, for the Switch version, and trophies for the PS4 version. I love these collections. These re-releases of shoot maps are, are, are great. First off, they they get introduced to a to a new generation of people who've never heard of the games before. Um, secondly, old farts like me get to play classic games that they really enjoyed as a kid. Um, and thirdly, you get extra enhancements. I mean, I love all of the additional information that they ply on the sides of the screen here. You know, you get your your music soundtrack, what's currently playing. How far through the level I am, what area info uh, there is, what map I'm in, so on and so forth. And as you can see, we're at the end of map two right now. And this is where things typically go horribly, horribly wrong for me, as they have done there. And that is game over. The end of map two. Or stage two, or, or field two. I'm not sure how you call it. Whatever you call it. I call it over because I am dead and that is the end of my competition run. So that is two entries for Ray Storm and two entries for Ray Crisis. That gives me four entries into the competition. Hopefully I'll be lucky. If I am, I will let you guys know. I'll keep you posted if I win first prize of a thousand euro 
Uh, second prize, I think, is is 500 euro, and there's a third prize of 100 euro as well, um, which will certainly feed my gaming addiction, no doubt. If I could get any of those, I'd be very, very thankful. But it's not guaranteed, especially with awful runs like this. However, there is still a chance, because it's a random raffle. Um, even the person who sucks the worst could walk away with the winnings. You never know, that might be me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the game. If you do, and you like the look of this, please go look on the PlayStation Store and Nintendo eShop. You can get it digitally from them right now. It's available right now for a reasonable price. Um, or you could go to Strictly Limited Games and you can pre-order the physical versions. Now there is a special edition which includes the prototype of the unreleased game R Gear, which is well worth checking out. I'm really excited to see that for myself. Um, so I've plumped for that special edition. Um, anyway guys, take a look. I hope you've enjoyed Ray Crisis and Ray Storm and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye for now.